We are today here in Geneva doing this uh, wonderful workshop together with the uh, United Nations uh, UNITA UNOSAT. This is the fourth workshop in a series we do in the European Commission Joint Research Centre. In this uh, workshop on uh, UAS for rapid mapping, we investigate what is the status quo of uh, off-the-shelf mature uh, systems and uh, assess that with uh, a lot of end users. We have seen how uh, UAVs have, um, have gradually improved. What is interesting now is to see that um, both in terms of hardware, there is uh, quite a, a range of options for different applications, be it uh, fixed wing uh, mapping uh, needs um, or more uh, inspection um, applications where one may want to consider quadrochopters, for example. The one key of success is the cooperation with other organizations, in this case UNOSAT. And in all these workshops we bring together academia, and users industry and investigate how ICT or other technologies can help uh, crisis managers, uh, situation monitoring center operators and uh, disaster relief organizations. I could say that this proof that the partnership with the UN is a valuable one and I just want to add that uh, uh, we in DGECO, we are strongly collaborating and, uh, let's say, supporting the UN on all, uh, let's say, fields of action. It's a whole palette of activities through which we are looking for synergies, we are looking for better serving the population uh, in need. There may be some challenges on how they can be used operationally in terms of flight permissions, etc. That is, uh, is a fact. The legal aspects, the regulatory aspects uh, that uh, often pose problems to U.S. operations. In the Middle East and North Africa sometimes is a bit sensitive um, as an issue. Using technologies is not always um, uh, easy for the governments and to have clearance to use these technologies. What struck me is actually the, the, the way this technology is evolving, which is extremely rapidly. I mean, you get smaller and smaller devices. And I can imagine in the near future that we'll have more captors and, and, and better images and more applications. So I think there are some applications we don't even foresee for the use in refugee camp management, but I, I, yeah, I trust there are some things to, to explore there. Yeah. Using UAS, we feel is a very good uh, tool and, and means in the future to A, validate things that we're doing with satellites, and B, possibly complement. So using satellites, uh, airplanes, classical airplanes, and, and UAS uh, together in joint operations for emergency mapping. I mean, using this information to advise them uh, regarding UAS system, what to do and what not to do, and uh, what would be uh, appropriate to, to buy. For me, it was amazing seeing all these systems take off seeing them in the sky, doing the automatic flights, following the flight paths, streaming down the data, live image feeds. It was just, uh, just wonderful.